Big cities have always been the product of technology. 1950 saw the invention of a new type of machine, the computer, destined to change the world more profoundly than anyone could have foreseen at the time. In 1970, there were just 50,000 computers in the world. 20 years later, 50,000 computers were being produced every day. Today, 100 million computers are sold every year. Their microprocessors are 100,000 times more powerful and 1,000 times less expensive than the earliest prototypes. The Industrial Revolution was over. It was time for a new generation of intelligent machines to redefine the very concept of the city. The idea of creating a home in which you can pick and select and choose the elements that you need and put them together, in my opinion, is the future of housing. This is exactly the kind of modular system that high-tech industries of Vancouver has just developed. From the architectural plans, the computers at high-tech break down the floors, walls, and roof of a house into about a hundred panels of different shapes and sizes. Assemble the steel frames into which the panels will be set. The core of each panel is made of a rigid foam, which is a light and fire-resistant insulator. A coating of reinforced concrete is then applied on each side for rigidity. All that remains is to assemble this giant mechano set by bolting the panels together. Plumbing and electrical connections are already inside each panel, which makes building the house that much easier. This revolutionary modular design makes it possible for a few workers and a crane or two to put up a two-story home in less than 24 hours. The inside and outside finishing can be completed in 48 hours. With this system, the labor part of the construction process is 10 times more productive, and each home costs 30% less than a conventional wood frame house. The new high-tech industries plant will soon be up and running. Robot-assisted employees will produce enough panels to build 10 city homes of 500 square feet each. on City TV. They are cheaper than regular condos. They don't leak, and they can be built in a fraction of the time. The first pre-manufactured high-rises in the province are being built in Surrey. And as Joe Bennett reports, some say they are the way of the future. High-grade concrete is poured like cake batter into a giant mold. It's then shaken to release the air bubbles and sprayed with a protective coating. This concrete was done early this morning and it's extremely now uh, well set. The panels are just part of this new construction technology, custom building walls, floors and other parts of buildings in a factory ready to assemble on site. All this one is on hinges. You, put, you build it while it's on the ground level and then you tilt it all up and then you put the trusses. Roger Rashed has been perfecting the technology for years, and now he's preparing to build the first high-rises in B.C. using his system. They are built to be leak-proof, earthquake-proof, and soundproof. 
If all goes well, it will only take six months from the day construction begins until the day people can move into the first tower. That's because everything is built off site and then assembled here. A traditional 15 to 20 story building can take anywhere from one to two years to build. This is the future, the future of construction. The price of construction is increasing exponentially. Every year, people don't have any more of the means to buy. So you have to automate the construction industry if you are, if, if you can provide affordable housing. This project, believe it or not, with, with this sophisticated design, is affordable housing. It's so affordable, in fact, even before the project has been given final approval, most of the suites in the first tower already have buyers. It is uh, roughly 30% uh, cheaper than your conventional construction. So basically, we're looking at $250 a square foot as an average price, as compared to around 300 in the same area. Now, those involved with the Optima project are still waiting for final approval. After that, they hope to get construction started within six months. Now, this project is just a few blocks from the central city area of Surrey. Now, that part, that construction there, was meant to clean up the King George Skytrain area. Now, Roger Rashed says he hopes it'll be a success, and if so, he hopes to see many more pre-manufactured high-rises in B.C. IHI International Holdings Limited chose the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, located at the center of Europe, to build its first show home and demonstrate its revolutionary building technology in public at the 65th International Exhibition, a few minutes from the heart of the city of Luxembourg. Never in history has the demand for quality construction been greater than it is at the turn of the millennium. Yet, as the new century dawns, quality is as much in demand as quantity. High tech has dedicated itself to providing both, at economies of scale attractive to the world market. The heart of IHI's technology lies in its advanced panel designs, which can easily accommodate any architectural feature, including vaulted ceilings, cantilated structures, curved walls, and cutouts. IHI can incorporate any architect's plans to produce a strong, attractive, high-quality home in just days and at a fraction of the cost of a conventional custom-built house. Under the direction of IHI's president, Roger Rashed, a team of five workers and one crane begins to assemble a prototype high-tech home based upon IHI's revolutionary manufacturing system. 
As with any structure, construction of the show home begins with the foundation. Steel brackets are welded to the metal frame of the panel to interlock the foundation, creating a secure, ductile, and flexible connection. The completed foundation takes about four hours. Next, the floor to the first story is locked into the foundation. The next day, IHI's workers begin to assemble the first story of the house. Because all the parameters are known in advance, interior decorations such as moldings and textures get underway as soon as the house's side panels begin to go up. Panels are manufactured with plumbing, wiring, and ventilation systems already in place. Electrical connections are strong yet flexible to prevent damage during adverse conditions. Within approximately 16 hours, most of the first floor is complete. On day three, work begins on the second story, starting with panels for the floor. As panels interlock, workers weld together any joints that deviate from the exact engineering specifications. When IHI's product goes to market, robotic manufacturing will eliminate the need for this step. Already wired and ready to use, the kitchen is pre-assembled with the owner's choice of cabinetry. A little more than 40 hours after construction began, workers begin to lock on the roof. IHI, building for tomorrow's world today.